Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in this video i will perform the analysis and optimization of milling machine parameters to minimize the surface roughness and maximize the material removal rate using statistical techniques anova taguchi grid relation analysis taguchi orthogonal arrays and taguchi signal to noise ratios initially we will start with the images of the machine and the work piece as well as the surface roughness tester you can see the experiments have been performed on the boxford machine whose origin is from the uk now if you go further towards this the image while we are while we are performing the operation on this aluminium workpiece so you can see it here in this image we will hold the piece workpiece at this point further images of the surface roughness tester we have noted r a value r q value and r z value so the step when step 1 will be making the taguchi orthogonal array go to stat then go to doe taguchi and then created a taguchi design in which we have three level design i mean that each of the factor is at three levels number of factor we have we have taken three factor in our study that are speed feed and depth of cut after that click on design here there are two options l9 and l27 l9 means we have to perform nine experiments in order to get the main effects of the three parameter that we are taking in our study however in l27 we have to perform 27 experiments l27 is good in terms of because each treatment in the l9 has been replicated thrice in the l27 in simple words each experiment in the l9 is three times repeated in l27 so in this case as we are performing the lab so we have limited resources i am going for the l9 so click okay then click on factors in which write the name of the factor so i'm writing here speed then feet and then depth of cut after that i have to put the values of these factors so the values are 1600 then space write 1800 then space and write 2000 so in this way you will have to write the values of feed rate and depth of cut after entering this nothing to do and click on okay. you will get such a design that has been represented in from column 1 c1 to c3 after that we have we have used metatoyo surface roughness tester in order to calculate these roughness measures and then um mrr means material removal rate we have used a formula for the material removal rate and the formula is weight before the machining minus weight after the machining obviously it will be yes or rho it's the density of the aluminum tm it's the machining time in seconds and we will get the material removal rate all values have been entered in the sheet in order to save the time however if you want to look that how these mrr calculation have been performed so i have told you people in the previous video then we have to analyze so before going towards the analysis it's quite important to know that which type of analysis we have to perform so we will go for the taguchi signal to noise ratio so signal to noise ratio means that we want to maximize our response at the mean value and the mean value can be very high in case of material removal rate and very low in case of surface roughness so based upon this that few of the responses should be minimized just like r a r q and r z and one of the response should be maximized so now we are going towards the stat then doe then taguchi and then analyze taguchi design and then click on the graphs in the graph we need two graph signal to noise ratio and the mean click okay after that go to analysis uh, response table yes we need for the signal to noise ratios for the means click okay terms okay nothing else to do we have to option we have already done with it so click okay you can see it here we got signal to noise ratio and these are the signal to noise ratio for the or a similarly follow the same proce procedure to calculate the signal to noise ratios for the r q r z so i am calculating them now to calculate the signal to noise ratio for material removal rate click on stat then click on doe then taguchi then analyze taguchi design here select mrr in place of rz then click on options select larger is the better nothing else we have to do click okay and then click okay so we got our signal to noise ratio as snr a9 these are the signal to noise ratio of material removal rate now we will discuss the graph that are associated with all of these results so first of all 
material removal rate the graph of speed s it's increasing so it means that when we increase the speed the material removal rate increases further f feet when we increase the feet from 80 to 100 the material removal rate increases and from for the depth of cut from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 again the material removal rate goes increasing however a very significant change is noticed for the speed similarly we will get the similar graph for signal to noise ratio please remember the graph for means and signal to noise ratio for larger is the better they will be always same then after that we will discuss about the response table so larger is the better so we will see two things that there is a delta and there is a ranking so delta means the difference between the lowest signal to noise ratio mean and the highest so you can see for the speed the lowest signal is at level 1 and the highest is at level 3 so their difference will be 11.240 similarly for the feed rate the delta has been calculated and the depth of cut now ranking this ranking is based on this delta value higher is the difference it means the higher is the difference between the speed at lowest level and the speed at the highest level so this factor is found to be more significant now we have now we have to perform the analysis of variance ANOVA to perform ANOVA go to STAT then ANOVA and then go to GLM journal linear model fit journal linear model here select the response variable we have our first response variable that is RA our factors are speed feet and depth of cut now in the options go on the model okay it's each and everything is okay then go to option we have to nothing to do then go to graphs here select four in one we, these graphs are most important based upon these graph we will satisfy we'll check whether our assumption are satisfied or not then go to result i strongly recommend to use the expanded tables then click ok and then ok so now these results are most important because whenever you're writing an article the satisfaction of the assumptions is quite important so first of all come down and look at the graph the graph C because we have too little data only nine experiments so that's why you can see there is a lot of gap in the histogram as well as the normal probability plot isn't so much good however we will assume that the data follows normal distribution from this first and third graph now from the second graph you can see the number of points above this dashed line above this and below this you can see somehow they are same because three above three be three below three above and three on this line so it's okay we can say that the variance is constant and further there is no a pattern is observed in the graph number four it means that our data haven't any problem of the multicollinearity or or you can say that the data is independent of each other now analysis of variance ANOVA table before going towards it we have discussed the model summary the model summary explained that R square value is 33.11. It means that the variation in the response variable we have in this case is RA. So 33% variation in the RA has been explained by speed, feed, and depth of cut. Further, in the ANOVA table, we have two degrees of freedom associated with each parameter because we have three levels for each of the parameter and when we do the computations. After that, we have sum of scares that have been calculated using the formula then percentage contribution it's the most important thing we will calculate this by dividing 434.4 divided by 4308 so we got a 10.08 percentage contribution is due to the speed factor then 17.61 percentage contribution due to the feed how we will calculate it 758.8 divided by 4308 likewise we have did the calculation for the depth of cut as well after that we come towards the p value so we can see here that mm, the speed the p value of the speed is 0 0.869 that is greater than the significance level we usually take 0 0.05 or 5 percent so speed is found to have an insignificant effect on ra likewise feed also has insignificant effect on ra 
and the depth of cut is also insignificant now we talk about multiple objective optimization why we are doing it because we want to minimize our roughness profile that is ra rq and rz meanwhile we want to maximize the material removal rate however now however such results are not possible with the taguchi that the taguchi analysis will not optimize both of the response variable or all of the response variable with the different criteria simultaneously now we have to go towards some multiple objective optimization i have selected gray resonance analysis for this purpose the multiple objective optimization will be performed in the excel so here is s speed feed and depth of cut settings r a r q and m r r values then the associated signal to noise ratio the next step is we have to the normalization bring all these values in the interval of 0 to 1 so how first of all we will have to calculate the minimum and the maximum of this data for each column i have also stated that for r a r q and r z we have to use smaller the better whereas for m r we have to use larger the better we have performed the normalization so for smaller the better formula for the normalization is maximum y i this is the highest or largest value of the signal to noise ratio for a specific response variable minus y i q this is the individual value i mean all these value data that have been stated in the column these are y i q so this the signal to noise ratio then maximum of the signal to noise ratio value and minimum of them i have computed all of the minimum and maximum values for the each of the response variable now when i click on 0.43 so you can see l20 minus l8 l20 you can see it here uh, this is minus 28.24 minus l8 the l8 is the first signal to noise ratio that is equal to minus 33.17 divided by l 20 minus l19 so maximum minus minimum so in this way i have computed all of the values in the normalized range of 0 to 1 because you can see it here the mrr values they are positive and then all of the values of the surface roughness they are negative further there is also a, dif a difference in the magnitude of the numerical value after normalization we have to compute the deviation sequence for the deviation sequence we need the maximum value so you can see it here the maximum value they have been converted into one like it here one and then one uh one and one so now i have used the formula maximum you can see it here maximum l24 to l32 within this column select the maximum value so i got all of them one now the next step is deviation sequence in the deviation deviation sequence we have to subtract each of the normalized value from 1 so 1 minus 4 0.43 this will be equal to 0.57 so in this way the deviation formula for both smaller the better and larger the better it's same so the deviation sequence have been computed after that after deviation sequence the last step is the computation of gray relational coefficients for each of the response variable now we go towards the research paper for this formula so the formula is minimum so minimum of the deviation sequence and delta max is the maximum of the deviation sequence and now here is the value of delta oj if this is the individual deviation sequence and the value of sava we usually take it as 0.5 and with a reference i have quoted in order to view my uh, read my research paper this is my research paper you can uh, download from the google scholar so using the dart formula i have computed all of the gray relational coefficients so you can see, see it here that in the numerator only 0.5 because the minimum is 0 and the maximum is 1 so we only left with 0.5 in the numerator whereas r8 this is the deviation sequence value each and individual value with respect to these then we after the computation of four gray relational coefficients now it's time to calculate the gray grg the grg is a multiple opt objective optimization results there are a lot of ways how we can compute the grg how much weight we are giving to each of these because the first row is it's it corresponds to ra then r q r z and m r so as do, i'm giving equal weights to each of the response variable however in my other videos i have used principal component analysis and many other techniques are available and i have made videos on them so based upon that which you can compute the 
weights so i have taken the simple average 0.25 means 1 divided by 4 because i have four response variables and then sum of all these four values you can also simply take the uh, command of average however this is as per the formulas so the grades and grades have been computed now the high now the treatment or the setting that contributes or that have achieved the highest grg grade and grade will be our result so we got our eighth experiment as the grade and grade the highest one 0.9357 and it ranked at at first how we can rank it using the command of rank then v24 this is the first value comma from v24 to v32 the whole column and it will be ranked so in this way we have performed the multiple objective optimization now this is 0.939537 now copy this column control c go to the mini tab and here paste it in column c12 sorry let me paste it individually so i am copying just only the results control c now i will paste it here i have write the title g r g then so com now compute again go to stat doe taguchi and then analyze taguchi design here this time select grg and in the option select larger is the better because we want to maximize the grg and then click ok so based upon these results you can see it here that overall the feed is found to be highest effect have the highest effect followed by speed and depth of cut so what will be our optimal settings the optimal settings are those where we have received or we have got the highest values for example you can see it here for speed level 3 gives the highest value and minus 3.63 is the highest among all of these three then associated value the second one minus 2.8383 and uh, you can see it in the mean it is 0 0.7366 highest among all of three likewise in the depth of cut so our multiple objective optimization results in the selection of third level of the speed second level of the feed and first level of the depth of cut these three setting will result in the minimization or lowering the surface roughness profile as well as simultaneously maximize the material removal rate this video become too much long however I hope you got the knowledge that how we can perform such analysis in our masters and bachelor thesis and as well as in the publication. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.